สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Thoughts. In today video, I'm gonna talk about the latest news that happened in Thailand. First, I'm gonna talk about methanol poisoning in Southeast Asia. A foreigner missing due to the bad weather in the South Thailand. New trick of scammer that you have to be aware. And the last one is Monkey Festival in 2024. So first of all, I think you guys. Might heard about the news that happened in Laos already that those foreigners unalive after drinking an alcohol in Laos, and it's like that the saddest news and really really big news even in Thailand. If you don't know where it's happening, it's happened in Laos, the next country of Thailand, and because of that, six people pass away from that situation. I'm not gonna go deep and talking about the details in this news, and because of this news, it remind me. Of Of the similar news in Thailand, it happened three months ago in Thailand. It's like really big news in Thailand as well. They have six people unalive from this situation, and a ton of people that get sick and have the major sick that they have to. Go to the hospital. Well, first of all, I would say it's not that everywhere. It's not happen in every bar or restaurant. It's not just common here. You will find this store in like a rural area or somewhere else that's super local. They have some kind of pop up store and they sell alcohol that marinate, preserve with some herb. They said and they will mix. Some herb with an alcohol. It's very cheap. It's for people who don't have much budget. It start around 10 baht, 20 baht per little cup. Here's the thing that I would like to warning you guys: don't drink an alcohol that came from nowhere. Don't drink an alcohol that's unsealed or any drink that you don't know where it came from. That's the first thing. And now I'm gonna tell you what is the sign that you will notice after you drink. Drink it. First of all, after you drink it, it's not gonna pop up immediately. It will slightly happens after eight hours, but it will not happen right away. First sign is it will have some kind of sign as. You get drunk, you will be sober, you'll be nauseous, you wanna throw up and have a headache, and after that, you will have a hard time to focus on stuff. Sometimes you will see like a white dot or white area on your eyes, it can't focus correctly, and your heartbeat will like go very fast, and you feel tired, like super tired. That's the sign that you should consider it that not normal sober. And the thing that you can do. You cannot do anything to fix yourself. You have to go to the hospital to see the doctor as soon as possible. Nothing that can heal you in the time. And due to the case that happened in Thailand, some of people that pass away, their relative said because they just wanna check for sure that they not get drunk, and then they wait to see that those side gonna go away or not. So they just sit at home, and the time pass away, and it's too late to like recover them from those kind of things. So here's the thing: because when you drink it already, your body is so fast to consume all those kind of. Poisoning, and here's the thing: when you go to travel, someone do not even care about this. But I think this is really important things to know. What is the emergency number in each country? If you in Thailand, the emergency number is one six six nine. Remember this: if you have any emergency thing, just call one six six nine. And probably search for your embassy number in each country as well, in case you have emergency thing that you have to connect to your family back home. So because of the methanol poisoning case happened in Laos, right? And Laos hospital is not ready, so they have to move all those foreigners to heal in Thailand. And here's the thing that if you have a plan to go to Laos, this is really important. I've heard a YouTuber he share his story in Laos a couple months ago. He have like a major accident by the motorbike crash, and then his face hit to that motorbike like so hard. It's like really really major problem. He cannot even move at the time, and people around there look at him and. 
asks him, do you have money? He cannot process properly because he can't be concentrated due to he lost a lot of blood and he like, here's my money and he showed them it's just like a little amount that he have in himself and they said this is not enough to send you to the hospital and he can't even like say it properly because he's just like so tired and he lost any feelings at all. He said like, please bring me to the hospital. I have money in my credit card and ATM. I will give it to you, give it to the hospital. And it's been a while. And then someone bring him to the hospital, right? And the hospital always asking about, do you have money? Are you sure you have to pay first? Even though he not get in the process yet and he like still lay down like that with the all the blood and people who work in the hospital come to ask him for the money so here's the thing you have to really be careful and look for the emergency number and your country embassy in each country because some country it might not be ready to handle the major case or if anything bad happen now let's move on to the next news this is still sad news this news is happens three days ago a french guy he come to travel in thailand with a group of foreigners in the south thailand and due to the bad weather in the south thailand and the boat was sink during the ride to the hotel like in the middle of the ocean now it's three days already and he's still missing the government stopped searching for him and is no sign that will find him and in this season you have to be really careful the weather might look very bad before you go into the ocean but you don't know like a minute later it might turn completely dark and have storm and have like a big wave so even though the tour guide said he wearing like a jacket life but it's still like the storm blew him away and no one can find him until now and it happens to me too like a couple years ago i went to grubby province and the weather is really bright it suddenly have the rain and big storm and like a big wave coming that was so scary and I promised to myself that I'm not gonna use like a little boat during rainy season anymore. So if you come to Thailand around October to November, you have to be really careful before you book to any tour. And this news is about new trick of scammer due to the high technology nowadays. You know, technology AI can do everything that you can imagine. They even create some face that is not themselves. Like I can create my face to be another person and then they can do video call with you and it look really natural. So they will use their Facebook to like randomly send message to you and it's kind of like flirt and kind of like want to get to know you more and then they do video call to show the face that they are real or whatever and then will ask you to like show your body to be naked and talk something a little dirty and then they will record your naked video and then they will blackmail you later if you don't want that video to go viral or whatever you have to send money to them so someone just like make a screen record for those scammer and it turns out like it's kind of look real and it look like a normal girl so one thing that you will know you should ask them to like close their eyes you know because ai will not recognize people face if they close their eyes or even like turn around or do like a fast movement or like <laughs> you know to recognize and know that they are like a real person if you ever video call with someone and you don't see them before you just talk to them online just have to prove that because it's all scammer nowadays and they have so many new high technology to like tell them to scam people easily you have to be careful and the last news is lovely monkey festival in 2024 
so in this festival people will feed those monkey because if you don't know locally is the province that have a lot of monkey it used to have a lot like over 5,000 monkey in that province and they have like a lot of problem because those monkey are hungry right it's not enough food to feed them for sure like 5,000 so they start to like steal people food and be aggressive for steal more food it's like become like a big big major problems in that province and a couple months ago they have one department from the government to like take care of it and took two thousand out to put in each sanctuary and sue that's how they handle the situation so for now it's like slightly less and more or less aggressive if you want to go to that province i really suggest you because it's one of the province that have a long history and you can see too many monkey as well and in this festival will happen the last sunday of november every year they will give monkey food and a bunch of fruits so they can have buffet in that day. Day. well what do you think about the news today anything that you want to add more please let me know down below i really happy to hear your guys thoughts and i want to ask you guys to do me a favor by hit the subscribe button and then we'll pass 10,000 subscribers together <laughs> Before we end this video, I want to say thank you to my lovely supporter as always, Mr. Claus. I really appreciate your support and just... I told you already, if you have anything to ask, please don't be shy. I'm so happy and willing to help you with any topic, any question. And the next one is in my skin. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me that I know that someone value my work and appreciate my work. Thank you so much. The next person is Armando. Thank you so much. If you want to ask anything, please don't be shy. Type it down below. i really happy to answer you. And the next person is came from the video that I make about myself and he show appreciate. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Juanito. And the last person from Buy Me A Coffee, Anthony. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And that's right. I love coffee. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I really appreciate your guys' support. That means a lot to me. And it boosts me more energy to like keep going and make a great content to be helpful for you guys. And before we end this video, don't forget to smile and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!